have is um, film, so you can say you never said that. And then I'll say, well, interesting. No. I did say that. I did just say that. Here we go. All right. Take a look, see at this thing here. I will just highlight to you the, the, the thing here. Um, blah, 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 blah. I don't think I need to go over that. The structure of your report. Look at this little section, all right? Yeah? This part right here. The structure of your report. I don't like that. That is horrible. How do we change the. Oh, 8650 of that thing. All right. Here is what I am looking for. I don't care what any other teacher has told you. Uh, you need, you will have at least, at least five paragraphs. Why are there five? Why? Because paragraph number one is your intro. Okay. Your introduction, ladies and gentlemen, to me, do not write your introduction until after you've kind of written your whole report. Because your introduction, like your conclusion, really is just you talking about things that you've learned or, you know, kind of stuff that you didn't know or, you know, the reason why you picked this president, I thought his name sounded goofy or whatever, you know. Your introduction is you. The conclusion is you, those are two paragraphs, and then the body of the paper deals with, well, I guess it goes down to the bottom here. These would be the three paragraphs, and you can split if your paragraphs get really long. I'm not a big fan of like really long, long paragraphs that take up entire pages, because to me as a reader, Sophia, what are you doing? Is there a fly in here? As a reader, I lose interest. At, uh, it's so much easier to read things in smaller chunks than one giant long chunk. It, to me, it gets overwhelming. So, uh, your three paragraphs. Paragraph number one, you would talk about their early life. Things like where they were born, you know, who their parents were, what they did as a kid, if there's some info on that. Sometimes that will be limited. Okay. Now, let me tell you what I don't want. Listen to me what I don't want. You have to figure out how to be the craft of your writing. Okay? Please don't look at this list of things and write in your parents. Uh, Joe Smith's parents were Bob and Kim. Joe Smith's brothers and sisters were Boom. Joe Smith went to there. Joe, like every sentence, you're just like answering these questions. Okay? You have to blend that into your paper. You know, my president, Bob, was born in a small town in Kentucky to, to blah, 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 you know. Don't, don't just give me short, choppy sentences that just say, that answer these questions, okay? You know, if you're talking about his education, well, you know, he, he grew up in a small town, so he went to a two-room schoolhouse, but this two-room schoolhouse, he had teachers that he liked and teachers he didn't like. I don't just, you know what I'm saying? You just don't go, he did this, he did this, he did this, kind of, you know, be a crap. Learn things. Make it interesting to read. Okay. Oh, so paragraph number one is his early life. Then, you know, paragraph number two, and the body, by the way, is about what happened when he was president. Again, don't just tell me his vice president was some important. Don't do not say some important events were. I don't. I don't want that. You just go while in president, these things happened. Okay. This is just giving you the kind of guide of the stuff that should be in it. You know. right. And then the last one is what happened after his presidency. Now, some of them, I don't know, does anybody, anybody pick anybody that was assassinated? That's why. See, why did you not get the assassinated presidents? Because they're the popular ones and they're always the best. And again, that's just the way it works, you know. If you die because you were president, that just automatically makes you a great president because you gave up your life for the country. So mm -hmm. again, if you want to be president, Ronald Reagan looked at as being one of the best presidents, also was, was tried to be assassinated. He took a couple bullets, mm -hmm. which, which uh, actually they have on film at some point. Okay. So that is the deal there. Remember, I am going to collect. You are going to do your rough draft on paper. Ask me why. 
Because if I don't, then you will just have to get paid, and then it gets to be a long thing. Last year, I had like four people that I, you know, plagiarized because they just copy and pasted things from them. Believe it or not, I do know how eighth graders talk and stuff that I think they're capable of and where you're at in that spectrum. Some of you are capable of higher level, whatever. Some of you not so much, but. Um, and then your conclusion, obviously, would be, you know, your thoughts at the end of what this president was. Uh, did I think he was a good president? Did he do some good things or some bad things? I mean, it's you talking about kind of what you wanted in the whole thing. So again, remember, it is 7.50. 7.50, which basically translates into what? Probably three pages. Double spaced, size 12. Don't give me this. And please pick whatever font they say. What is it, Times New Roman or? Yeah. There's that other one. What's the default one? Like Cambria or something Ariel. like that? Ariel. Huh? Ariel? I don't think. Is it Ariel? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. I would take Ariel. That's fine. Ariel. Does it have to be in bold? Have to be what? Satisfied. Yes. Answer me in Twelve. Oh, you don't even know. Yeah, you just said it. Jeez. I asked him, not you. I'll just say oh, oh. This is simply getting a little curse here. <laughs> Double tap. See, it's so much better when you're sitting right in front, right? And then you hear so many more things when you're sitting right there. Yeah, so now, here is the deal. Like I said before, I'm going to give you the North cards. Okay. As you do your research, I suppose let, let's watch the lady talk about what the note card should look like. Shall we? By the way, you can go to, just probably stop your course, is it? I'm going to stop because it's going to pop up there and say nobody else is here if you want to keep recording. So let me just preface this by saying if you go to the eighth grade under president's project, which I'll try to keep at the top there. You can watch the video. Let's talk. Let's see what this lady says. Lights, please. Okay. You know what the problem with this is? What's the problem? Your music. You should just make up words. You're ready to take me. What does front load mean? Let's go back. Let's go back. She was just basically saying if you take some good note cards, really, your page is written for you. All you have to do is add and make it in sentence form because you'll, you will just be able to put it in order the way it goes, and then boom, you just write it. It's just that easy. Okay. Guess why she said put your initials on. Why? Yeah, are you it in? Huh? Oh yes, this will be part of your grade. Part of the whole overall grade of this report will be following the directions that we're giving you. Whoa. Yeah, because if you're like some people in this class, you will leave them on the floor. You won't remember where they are. Other people will find them if they have your initials. Do they have the same initials as you? Then at least you won't lose them. Good.
that. So here, the, this is what I was saying. Let's say the first thing you do is you look in your textbook to see if there's something on that person there. So you have your little note cards out. You would put a letter A, and for any note card that you use that comes from your textbook, put the letter A so you know that's where it came from. Then on that template that I gave you, or you took, Ben, which you stole and made yours, and you changed everything. I thought it was on my own. And then made everything there. The first thing you do when you first find that letter A, when you first make that first note card for letter A, go to your paper and put the work cited, put the letter A next to it so that you know where your letter, what, what goes in letter A. So anything from your textbook, you label with the letter A. So that when you type your paper with those notes, you know that's the work cited you're going to go to. So it keeps you organized. You don't have to keep looking back where you found it. The letter A will always be that. Then if you're on the website and you're looking at White House, whatever place, make, make that letter B. So any notes you take with letter B, you know, come from that place. You see what I'm saying? So you don't get confused where you got stuff from because it's always written there. All right. Good point. Now, for you, what would your topics be? Or the early, early life. If it's something you wanted to make your intro or your conclusion, you could make that as well. They're like a little, you know, in your introduction, you could put like a little trivia back. Maybe that you put down. So on your note card title, it's say, you know, obviously, if it's about him being a kid, you'd have early life as your thing. If it's about in the presidency, you'd have the presidency. If it's about how he died or where he died or what he died from, that would be the last one. So you kind of have that. So when, in the end, you just put all the ones that talk about early life together, all the ones that talk about presidency together, all the ones that talk. And really, it's all done for you. And bam, there's a question in there. So is that a question or not? Uh -oh. If your paper was out of the price, you're going to look just like this. And you just need to talk That's not good. I would say. None of you would quote very much stuff, unless you were quoting somebody that said something about the president. Then you would put it in quotes. Any other I would say the other thing, the only thing that she's going to get to is just make sure you put, if it comes from a book, you need to put what page number it is. So in your text, this tells you it's your textbook, you'd have to write, I guess you can probably write it there, but write down there what page number you got it. So because when you quote your site, your references, or cite your works, you have to say what page number it is. So this would already be in your work cited. There's your page number if everybody's had any questions, problems. Stop me there. Good, no, yes. Perfect. So, I will give you a few note cards. Oh, the other thing was this, in order to try not to lose your note cards, as I know some of you struggle with organization, I don't have a carabiner for you, but you know what I do have? A paper clip. You know how paper clips work? You can just take the little note cards and wrap it around the little hooky thing there. Look. It's gonna fall out. It won't gonna fall out. Look, I'm taking it. Yeah, but you're holding up the opening part, so when we throw it somewhere, it's gonna come off. <laughs> throw it back. See, show me how things are gonna fall out of it. See, hey, look, look. It well, could... well, if you do that. No, if you shove it a place and it, it like gets jammed, it'll like push wrong. this card down, and then you pull it out, and it's like that. Wrong. I'm wrong. We'll hand out note cards tomorrow. Go get. Go back to that. See you all next time.